Hello dear ladies and gentlemen. In this tutorial what we are going to talk about is hardware and software interrupts. Okay? So, what we are going to talk about again is hardware and software interrupts. I I do not understand why have I just repeated myself, okay? Okay, so let's get into the tutorial. So, what I want to talk about today is for example, if you have a keyboard Let's say that this is a keyboard and it has some keys. And let's say that you press a certain key. So you, for example, press this key right here, denoted with X. And this should be an X, but let it become, become filled with the black uh, color, okay? So you have a lot of keys and you just decided to press this key right here. And my question to you is, how does the OS know that something happened? Okay, so how does the operating system know that you press the key? Well, in order for us to answer that question, we have to deal with interrupts, okay? And this in particular is a hardware interrupt. So you can think of it like this. When you press a key or when something happens, other, uh, for example, you can divide by zero, but that's uh, an interrupt in the CPU. So basically, uh, pressing a keyboard, moving your mouse, anything like that, even me drawing right here is actually an interrupt. So basically what happens is when we press a key or any uh, event on, on the hardware happens, the hardware sends a so-called interrupt signal, okay? Interrupt, interrupt signal to the kernel, okay? So this is the kernel. And again, a kernel is the core of our operating system. And basically then the kernel deals with this interrupt, okay? And this is just the basic picture. I, I didn't wanna go into more depth. So for those of you who are interested, I actually wrote in, uh, two articles about this. So the first one is the basic one, which actually kind of revolves around the, this basic topic. But the second one is actually, uh, I would say, more accurate and it goes into a lot more detail. So if you are interested, feel free to check it out. I think it should be available on LinkedIn and on my website. Uh, and definitely check the description. Maybe I put something there. Uh, but definitely do check out my website. Just kind of like browse around. I think you'll find it. Uh, the article title should be Hardware and Software Interrupts. And if you want to go more in depth, it should be difference between interrupts and signals because we talked about signals in processes and uh, there's a difference between these interrupts and signals. But basically uh, what is happening is that you have some hardware, uh, which I'll abbreviate is HW, which is usually how it's abbreviated. And this can be a keyboard, a mouse or anything else. And basically when something happens, when an event happens, it actually sends a message uh, and that message is actually a signal, an interrupt signal uh, to the kernel. So for example, just as I'm drawing some lines right here, right now, what is happening is that uh, this piece of hardware that I'm currently drawing on is sending some interrupt signals to my operating system. And then my operating system is processing these signals. And by processing these signals, it is actually drawing these lines. And actually the program which processes interrupts is called the interrupt handler, okay? So basically, uh, again, just uh, actually, you know what? Don't worry about that, okay? I just introduced this concept of the interrupt handler. You can read more about it if you want, but this is the simplified model, okay? Hardware sends interrupts to the kernel and then the kernel kind of does its magic and then you have interactivity with your computer, okay? Just imagine it like that. Again, if you want more information, if you want to know what the heck is, is an interrupt handler, uh, then definitely feel free to check out my written content, which again should be available on my website or on my LinkedIn profile, okay? Links to which you can find if you browse around the YouTube profile or wherever, maybe even in description, uh, okay? So just kind of browse around and find the answers you are looking for, okay? These are not the software interrupts you are looking for, or, or actually these are the software interrupts you are looking for if I were to use my Jedi powers in this video, okay? So thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll subscribe and check, it, check the additional content out if you want. And that's it, talk soon.